Hello my boos, my beautiful youth, and happy Wednesday. I am so excited. This morning was such a good morning because I announced the winner of my giveaway to win these free AirPods, and the winner that I chose, her name was Karina Alvarez. Shout out to you, Karina. I'm so happy for you. I'm gonna get these shipped out to you by tonight. If you guys entered the giveaway and you didn't win, don't worry, I'm going to be doing so many more giveaways in the future, and they're just gonna keep getting better and better, so. Don't be upset. I know a lot of you guys DM'd me and you guys were really disappointed, but don't worry. They're 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 gonna keep coming, girl. I promise. Alright, so I know you guys can already tell by the title what this video is about, but it is my favorite season. It is one of my favorite holidays, Valentine's Day. Whether or not I've had a Valentine, which I may or may not have this year, I absolutely love Valentine's Day. If you're the type of person that thinks that just because they don't have a significant other that they can't celebrate Valentine's Day, you are wrong. There's so many things that you can do for yourself for Valentine's Day, for your family, for your loved ones, for your friends. Valentine's Day isn't just for your girlfriend or your boyfriend. Like this is a day to just appreciate the people that you love and take care of yourself. Like go get your nails done, go get your hair done, go get some flowers for yourself. I'm gonna go get some flowers for myself. So for my Valentine's Day look this year, I decided to go with something strong and powerful and just beautiful. And what better way to do that than a bold red lip? I am going to create a look for you guys that is not only affordable with the products on my face, but I'm also going to be wearing a dress that is very affordable and it's probably one of the most adorable dresses I've ever worn. I've already uploaded a picture in this dress, I think about a couple months ago, and I absolutely love it. And then I saw that they carried it in red, and I was like, girl, I ordered that shit, and guess what? It got here today. I, I'm gonna just prove it to you guys. It, I just got a text saying that it just got delivered and it's from Laura's Boutique. They did not send me this. I just love their brand and yeah. I'm gonna stop talking and just get on with the video. If you guys want to see how to slay Valentine's Day, then just keep watching. So first I'm gonna take this clear soap and I'm gonna use this to brush through my brows. I'm gonna start with my brows because that's just what I do. I'm going to coat my spoolie into the soap and I'm just going to brush up on my brows. All right, brows are brushed up. I'm going to take the Morphe palette that I'm going to be using on my eyes today. This is the 350 Zero palette. As you can see, it is freaking gorgeous. And I'm gonna go in with this ash brown to fill in my brows. Okay, so now that my brows are filled in the way I want them to be, I'm going to clean that up with some concealer. This, especially when you're doing like a full makeup look, this really helps your brows just look snatched and clean before you start your eye makeup. So I'm gonna take a concealer brush and I'm going to just go into the corner of my brows and clean that up right there. All right, next I'm gonna take my primer. This is the Maybelline Master Prime. I've used this a couple times and I really like the way that it looks and the way that the foundation sits on it. For foundation today, I'm gonna to be using the new Morphe foundation. This is in the shade F230. This is a matte foundation and it says it's full coverage as well. Usually I don't wear matte foundations, but I really wanted to try this one on my channel just to give it a go and see how I feel about it. So, Let's try this out. I'm going to put some on my hand. Hopefully this matches. Um, I have some fake tan on right now, so I think when I got color matched, it was a little bit lighter, but we can darken it up with some bronzer if we need to. Yeah, it's a little bit light, but it's okay. Okay, so the coverage is for sure there. I really like the way this is going on, actually. All right, so thoughts on this foundation. I like it. It is very yellow toned, which I love, but I think it'll look better once I have all of my makeup on. Um, it's very full coverage. It's matte for sure, which isn't my favorite. I just like love when a foundation gets on your skin and it just makes you look very glowy, but not to worry. We're gonna put some highlighter on to make up for that. Okay, so I would say the only two things that aren't going to be affordable in this video is one, my shape tape, because I can't part from this concealer. Like, even if I use a different concealer, 
it just it just doesn't look the same this is my absolute favorite concealer and I think it's so worth the money and it lasts a really long time and also these lashes that I got from Morphe that I spent $30 on which I'm not so stoked about but these get like like I think it says like 20 wears that you can get out of it if you take care of them so I guess this is it's less affordable but it also is kind of worth it because you can wear them so many times Okay, I will say that I absolutely love the way that this shape tape just melted in to the Morphe foundation. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but it, it I love it. It looks so good. Okay, so before we start the eyes, I'm going to set my face. I'm going to take this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Powder, and this is in the shade Nude Beige, which is 300. What are your guys' opinions on setting your eyes? I've heard multiple reviews about setting your eyes. Some people say that it takes away the pigment of the eyeshadow. Some people say that they can't even put eyeshadow on without setting their eyes because it just looks too blotchy. Um, I personally like to set my eyes because I do feel like it really just dries the eyelids and preps it really nicely, but I just can't tell. I want to know what your guys' thoughts are on it. Okay, so for eyes today, I'm going to be using that same Morphe palette. This is the 350 palette. And I'm going to go in with this shade and this shade just in the corners of my eyes. So instead of starting with the transition shade, I'm kind of just going to focus the colors on the ends of my eyes because I really want it to be that light to dark transition. So instead of doing windshield wipes, I'm going to just start with the end of the eye and kind of just place the product like on my eyebrow bone and here. So kind of like a V like that. I feel like I need to zoom you guys in a little more so you guys can see. You guys can probably start to see that V shape that I'm talking about. It kind of begins at the lower lash line and rises up and meets in the middle with the brow bone. All right, then I'm gonna go in with a smaller brush. This is a Morphe M507 brush. And I'm gonna take this dark brown shade right here. I don't know why these shades don't have names. It's really hard to explain it to you guys, but I'm going to place that on the outer edge of my eye. Alright, so next for eyeliner, I'm going to take this NYX eyeliner. Okay, so instead of starting at the center of my eye, I really learned that for my particular eye shape, it looks best when I start three-fourths of the way in because it just makes your eyes look a little bit more catty and alive. So, um, And I also think that when I start my eyeliner here, it looks a little too harsh. So I'm going to start from my lower lash line and make the line, and then I'm going to connect it. So I'm going to first... So first I make that line and then I'm going to go in and connect that line from the upper lash line. Okay, honestly I'm not the biggest fan of how this eyeliner is drawing on. It's pretty dry and it's not even coming up that black so I don't really recommend that one but I'm going to see if I have another one. I'm going to just go in with this Maybelline one instead. and. This one is a lot more pigmented, so yeah, there we go. So I'm going to go in with these two shades for my lower lash line. Also mix it with um, a little bit more of a dark brown shade just to go in with my under eyes. For lashes, I'm going to go in with these Blinking Butte Lashes. They're absolutely gorgeous. A little bit more on the pricey side, but I'm just going to show you guys how beautiful these lashes are. Like, they're mink, and they're just like everything that I ever wanted my lashes to be. Look at them. I'm going to grab my Duo Lash Glue and... Make sure that when you guys apply your lash glue, you're waiting at least 30 seconds just for it to dry. Once it's tacky, it's so much easier to put on the eye. All right, eyes are finally done. That took a minute. I'm going to take the Morphe Bronzer Palette. This is a bronzer and contour palette. And just use that to bronze up my face. All 
Okay, so next I'm gonna take this NYX Dewy Finish Spray and just use that to set my face. And then I'm gonna take my NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator. I love this stuff and it's so affordable and it just gives you such a nice sheen to your face. I'm gonna take this Maybelline Master Crumb Highlighter and I'm gonna just set those highlights just to make it a little bit more intense. All right, we are almost done. I felt like that just took so long, but lastly, I'm going to go in with the lips. This is a gorgeous matte lipstick. This one is from L'Oreal. It's the Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick. I'm gonna apply that on my lips, and then I'm gonna put like a little bit of a pop of like an orangey red in the center, just to make it a little bit brighter because my dress is a bright red. Okay, so I think that is good for the first shade. And then I'm gonna take this Wet n Wild Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Flame of the Game and I'm gonna just apply that in the center of my lips. Okay, so I forgot to give myself a little bit of a nose contour. I'm gonna just take this NYX like fluffy angled brush and I'm gonna go in with my contour shades and kind of just outline the corners of my nose. All right, so I'm gonna quickly do my hair. I'm going to do a slicked bun because that is my one of my favorite hairstyles. It takes like two seconds and it just looks very chic. So I'm gonna first start off by brushing all my hair back. Just wanna make sure your hair is all brushed out before you do this. Okay, so I parted it on the side and you're gonna just take your brush and really just sleek down the hair as much as possible. I grabbed a quick water bottle Oops, grabbed a water bottle. I'm gonna just like put some water on my hands and kind of just put that on the hair just to settle it down. Grab the hair, put it behind your ears and make sure that it is just completely sleek. Grab your brush, brush through it as much as you can. And then I just like to rubber band it first and once you see that everything is the way that you want it to be, I just twist the hair like so and just wrap it around as many times as it needs and just ponytail it in. All right guys, so we are done with hair and makeup. I'm gonna just go back into my highlighter, take my highlighter brush and just glow up this chest. When I'm wearing a dress, I absolutely love to do this. It just makes your skin look like you're healthy and you're glowing. I'm just gonna put some in between the boobies. All right, I'm just going to set my face one last time. Okay, so I'm going to go throw on my dress and I will be right back. All right guys, that completes today's Valentine's Day look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is exactly what I would wear if I was going somewhere more on the fancy side for Valentine's Day. If this video gets 3,000 likes, I have a little surprise for you guys. I want to do a Valentine's Day part two, like a Valentine's Day special of me actually getting ready for Valentine's Day, what I'm gonna wear, same thing, how I'm gonna do my hair, how I'm gonna do my makeup, and I would love to talk you guys through that. This will be posted probably on Wednesday since I post every Wednesday. I'm gonna post that a day before Valentine's Day so you guys can still complete the look on your own. A huge thank you to my boo my beautiful yous for always supporting me and watching my videos. If you guys would like to be a part of the Fabu fam, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And if you guys would like to follow me in between uploads, my Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter are all at Sigoni Lazaroff. In the meantime, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.